Almost took it afford three bad points there, but he got away with them all. At least he got away with winning the game. Yes, that's uh, Muster sliding to that uh, Bruguera drop shot. Sliding not into the ball as he would on clay, but sliding once he'd uh, played the shot. It is possible there's always a little bit of grit on these courts for people to slide. We've seen uh, players actually this week do their, do a, a fair bit of it. Bruguera sliding into a couple. Not to be encouraged, though, really. No, it's a fairly unrelenting surface. I wonder also to what extent uh, it's as a result of having lost the first set. I don't mean that he's playing up, but you know, it must be a major blow to him to have lost it, especially on an 8-6 tiebreak. Serving love one, second set. Well, I think Muster could wrap it up if he's uh, ready to go in for the kill. Even though it is a best of five set match. But I remember once Muster playing in the final, I think it was probably somewhere like Kitzbühel, and uh, he won the second set. And uh, was convinced it was a best of five set match and uh, walked back to uh, just pick up his towel, towel down, and suddenly realized that he was a champion. It's his best of three. It's the most stunned look I've ever seen on the face of a champion. He certainly wasn't uh, in 95 in Kitzbühel because uh, that's the only time he's ever lost to a Spaniard uh, in a final. He lost to Albert Costa. I think he's won something like 11 or 12 finals against Spaniards. Three or four against Bruguera and uh, beaten just about every other Spaniard there is. And when asked who his main opponents would be on... Uh, Play in the forthcoming clay court season, he said Spain. Yeah. It's a good answer at the moment. Oh. You can ill afford that. It's his first double fault. If he'd known that his serve was going to be that good, he'd have gone in behind it. Break point for Thomas Muster as the mountain for Sergio Bruguera gets ever higher. That's beautiful. He deliberately avoided the chance to go down the line, even though the court was fairly open. So he got Muster right out of position. Beautiful execution. He seems determined to uh, beat Muster cross court. Complaining a little bit about it, the footing, I think. Second break point. Ah! We haven't had any breaks in the match yet. Ah! We have now.
Yes, almost uh, almost predictable, really. And uh, Bruguera's uh, not comfortable. Not a happy Easter Bunny out there. Worcester, two love, second set. I don't know if Bruguera does need treatment, but uh, this match at the moment has the makings of a very, very quick one-sided finish. A very tired Sergio Bruguera. Yes, Musta not really known for his uh, drop shotting skills, particularly when he's playing them from behind the baseline, but that's as good as can be, and just the last thing but that Bruguera wishes to have. Yes, he could afford to miss that. It just adds to the burden on Bruguera's shoulders because he ran a long way just to get a racket onto it. relationships father and son what reward for a father to see his son out there yes I think it shows a lot of respect for the individuality of, of both men yes it's been an enduring partnership At this stage, though, it does not look like the Bruguerias will have a great deal to celebrate. Sergi in some sort of trouble. Worcester leads three love. Well, Worcester's improved that uh, first serve percentage since the first set. Bruguera, 2-5. Second set. Blend. First serve. Moving so well to this, one of the fastest men uh, around Bruguera, and uh, getting there with time to spare. If you get there with time to spare, you've got the options, of course. And difficult for the net man to gauge where you are going to play your shot. Particularly as he knows Bruguera has been lobbing a few times. Twice he's done it. There's almost an element of surprise in Steve Ulrich's voice as he said, Game Bruguera. It's just been one break of serve in the whole match. But it's enough to give Thomas Muster the chance to serve for a two sets to love lead. 
And if that last game's anything to go by, it's going to be a fairly aggressive game, this by Worcester. Notice that he too has a strapping, it's just on his upper left thigh. He's wearing these longer shorts this year, as is the fashion. So you can't actually see it, but uh, occasionally it shows. came from the crowd it was nowhere near out yes 84 Fahrenheit is uh, 29 Celsius temperature actually dropping slightly at the moment Bruguera had plenty of time to cut that forehand return back nice and deep, but uh, at the same time it suggests too that he could well have got his feet into position and played a more aggressive forehand and looked uh, to get in against uh, Moster. could hear all those uh, keen tennis watchers and uh, those knowledgeable fans saying what on earth are you talking about Macmillan suggesting that Bruguera gets in when he you know how he plays his best tennis and tends to win most of his matches which are from the back of the court It's worked on those last two. And finally, Sergio Bruguera has a break point. He's covering an awful lot of ground, is Sergio Bruguera. That, I'm afraid, is the problem. There is a, about a metre and a half difference, I think, between the average position they're holding in these baseline rallies. Musta is much closer to the baseline. It means he's taking the ball early, but he's running less. Well, the breaks just seem to have gone against Bruguera in this match, and uh, I think he really deserves this because he was there, he played it with a lot of power. Perhaps uh, fortune just favouring the brave here. Yeah, I was just going to say, who would begrudge him that uh, lucky net cord? Second break point. Now, will he attack the serve? I suspect not. 